Hey everyone, this is Greg Savage from MachineMasters.com and today I'm going to show you how to synthesize realistic instruments using Propellerhead Reasons Maelstrom. Now the instrument that I'd like to replicate is called, and forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, I think it's a Chenet or a Chenei. It's a, I, I think it's more like an Indian type of oboe, but it has a really edgy reed to it. To me it sounds really intriguing and I think it'd be kind of a challenge. I, I think that half of it's going to be finding the right texture and the other half is going to be kind of playing it realistically. So anyway, this is what it sounds like. So let me load up a square. I'm actually gonna attack this one oscillator at a time. I chose a square because I think the square has a nice edge that you can make the sound with as well as things like trumpets and brass and such. But let me see if I can get the texture right and then uh, go on to the next oscillator. And you'll have to excuse me, this is actually how I sound design. I just keep pushing the key down and listening to the sound until I get the, the texture right, so. I don't even know why I'm playing with the portamento. I know I can't play this without uh, step recording, but anyway. Now I'm going to mess with the modulation to kind of get the, the realistic uh, fluctuation of the voice because when it's played, you know, it's not a tone that's um, going constantly. There's a little modulation because the player is running out of breath and he's breathing in and etc. So I think the uh, messing with some modulation can help emulate that a little bit. This oscillator, I chose a sawtooth because it also has some bite, and I think that this uh, sound it needs it needs edge, it needs edge and a little bit of smoothness. Now I'll come over here and adjust the filter to tone it down a little bit. I mean, I sat there messing with the ADSR for like 10 minutes. I didn't want to keep that in the recording, but um, basically what I was looking for is just not a sound with so much bite, but enough, but kind of dull. And I'll probably have to do a little bit of more of that a little later on too, but that's what I was going for. It literally took me close to 15 minutes to get that. Okay, so that's, that's close enough. Um, what I'm going to do now is kind of tweak it up with some reverb and uh, probably mess with the EQ a little bit. And now I've just gone through and basically toyed around with the EQ. I like the BV512. I've always liked it. But basically I'm trying to get kind of like a flat mid-range sound uh, from the synthesizer. So I toyed with that until I came up with this. Then at the end, I mean, I wound up just uh, taking more EQ to it and taking more bite out of it. And then I 
literally had to click in this little bit because I can't play that fluently, but I think it sounds good. So anyway, that's a little bit of instrument patch design done in Reason 9. Uh, share and thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, sorry, but I'm sure some people will like it. Anyway, Greg Savage, MachineMasters.com. I'll see you guys next Sunday.